What's up guys? I didn't vlog at all today, but I have to vlog this. Um, my Netflix special came out today and it's really exciting, it's really cool. Thank you to everyone who's been watching and like posting about it. I'm really, really um, excited and nervous and scared and all the things. But my friend Mondo just tagged me in a picture of my face on a billboard and I had no idea that was gonna happen. As so we're trying to find it right now, I'm with my dad and Corey and my brother Trent and Eric and we are trying to find this billboard. That's crazy that I'm on a billboard somewhere. I don't, I feel like it's not true. So we're looking for it right now. We're in Hollywood looking for this billboard with my face on it. I just can't believe Netflix would put my face on a billboard and like they just didn't mention it. Like it's like the coolest surprise in the world, but now I don't see it. So I'm like scared it's not there. That is my face on a billboard. I had a billboard for Haters Back Off season one and it blew my mind. I like, cried when I saw it. I'm nervous. Okay, this is Hollywood in the Bray, which is where he said it was. Oh my. <gasps> That's it! Oh my god, it's huge! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my wow. gosh. That's crazy! Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so crazy. That's like, that's bigger than the one for haters, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh, and they did it sparkly. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's crazy. That is huge. Oh my gosh. I have to take a million pictures. Okay, I have to go. I have to take a million pictures. I'm freaking out. This is insane. Okay, so I can't really get a good shot of it because it's like... It's freaking huge. I don't think you understand. Like, I'm gonna go stand directly under it. Here, I like film while I, I'm just gonna be underneath it. Just so you can see. This is wild. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite color. Right. <laughs> she's watching over LA tonight. I know. She's about to know what those gays in we hope. Good. It's pride. It's, it's pride. pride. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, I didn't vlog this because it was just so insane. I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh, okay. This is so cool, so insane. Crazy. Okay, it's the next day. I have a lot to say, so bear with me here. Okay, so I have obviously not really been vlogging very much lately because I've been really, really busy writing the new live show because I'm on tour right now. I just had my first show in Pomona, California. It was really fun, really crazy. That was my last vlog. I don't know if you guys saw it. And then now this weekend in two days, I'm going to San Jose and Sacramento. Next weekend, I'm doing Phoenix and Tucson, Arizona, and then a couple weeks later I'm doing Salt Lake City. And this is like my starter tour to see how it feels to get back into the swing of things. And then I am going on a bigger tour, hopefully later this year. That's what my hope is, we'll see. Um, so I've been so focused on this new show. There are so many new costumes, props, songs. I've written songs, I've written scenes, I've written jokes, like it's an entirely new show because my Netflix special came out. Now I have been so freaking focused on this new live show and being a mom and like juggling that, planning this new show and um, having a baby made it really hard for me to focus on anything else. That's why I haven't been posting YouTube videos and it's also why I kind of like, didn't forget, but kind of was just like, oh yeah, I have a special coming out and I kind of just like, I pushed that to the side a little bit because I was focused on other things. And I knew it was exciting, but like, I don't know. Like, I was really, really, really scared for the special to come out. I worked on the special for a very long time. I found out I was doing the special a uh, really long time ago, and then I got pregnant and had to call my agent. People were like, I heard, I saw people being like, oh, Netflix, you know, has a lot of pregnant women doing specials and whatever. And I'm like, okay, but literally, Ali Wong. Amy Schumer and me all have, um, I'm not comparing myself to them by the way, I do not consider myself a stand-up comedian and I am in no way at their level of goddessness. Um, but 
we are three pregnant women, we are three women who have done um, Netflix specials while pregnant. And all three of us, aside from I think Ali Wong's second special, her first one, and Amy's newest one and mine, we all booked this special before we got pregnant. I'm pretty sure, I know Ali Wong's was that way and Amy Schumer planned her tour before she got pregnant. So, and that was how mine was. We booked the Kennedy Center. I, I booked the Netflix special right after season two got canceled of Haters Back Off. So it was shortly after season two was canceled that they were like, okay, let's do a special together. But it takes a really long time to plan and um, all this stuff. So I found out I was pregnant and I called my agent and I was like, I am pregnant and I have a tour and I have my Netflix special. What do I do? Do we cancel the Netflix special? Like, and I was like, you know what? I can do it. I know I can do it. It'll be fine. And I had just gotten pregnant. And um, I didn't realize how hard it was going to be. Like I knew filming a Netflix special and touring would be hard because I've done those things, not special, but I've done touring before and I know that's difficult. Sorry, I know I'm talking a lot, I'm getting to a point. I didn't know it would be as hard as it was for me. And there are videos of me explaining why it was hard on the internet, but like even in those videos, I don't think it comes across. Like, because I didn't want to sound like I was complaining too much, even though that's all my videos were when I was pregnant was me crying and complaining. But like, I don't think it comes across just how hard it was. Like, if you guys could see the raw footage of that special, like, we did the show twice, and then we had to do pickups for like an hour and a half after I did the show twice that day, and to meet and greets. Pregnant, I was very pregnant, and I was in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. I was fainting, like, constantly at that time during my pregnancy, vomiting, fainting all the time. I could barely walk, I was in a wheelchair, um, like it was really bad. So the fact that in the special, I'm just like walking around and looks like I'm not in pain is miraculous because I was in excruciating pain. So the special was like, not like necessarily like a fun time for me. Like at the end when we were done, we could make a muffin. When we were done filming it, um, I wept. Like on stage, I was weeping. I was like, I can't believe I got through today. I can't believe I survived. Um, hi, baby. He's my Yeah, he's my Would you toy? Good boy. Um, so I was a disaster. And the day after we went to the airport, I was in a wheelchair. Uh, that night that we filmed that special, I was sobbing in my hotel room from pain. And uh, my sister had to literally lift my naked body in and out of the shower because it was like a tub shower and I couldn't lift my legs high enough to get into the shower and I was weeping. And my sister had to like literally like it was like humiliating. She's my sister and like she loves me, but like literally she had to lift my naked, grown, pregnant body in and out of the shower because I couldn't move. I was in so much pain. And um, so it was a really hard, awful <laughs> time in my life. Not to mention like where my mental state was, I was really depressed and sad and like, um, it was just a hard time. And my pelvic bone, uh, was doing something that like most pregnant women, it happens to them like in their last trim, like the last month essentially, like the few weeks before you have the baby, your pelvic bone just kind of starts to split in two and like moves around a lot and it's very, very, very painful. I know I'm already talking way too much in this video, but for anyone who cares, which is like maybe one or two people and they're probably gonna be pregnant women, what I had was called pelvic girdle pain but during pregnancy. It usually is the very end of a pregnancy, but for me, it lasted for months and there is no relief. It's different for every woman, but for me, it was pain 24 seven and it's hard to stand on one foot. You can't wear heels, which is why I wear flats in the special. It's hard to walk. It's, it's, it explains it all. So if you want more details, I know I'm talking a lot in this video, but I did want to explain like what it's actually called in case anyone was curious, which nobody is. And I'm sorry, you're watching my face talk about it right now when you literally don't care. But Google search pelvic girdle pain in pregnancy and that'll explain like what I was going through for literally four or five months of my pregnancy and why I was crying literally every day. It was, it was very, like the worst case scenario of pelvic girdle pain, like excruciating pain in my vagina and anus and pelvic bone and hips, okay bye. <laughs> and it happened to me when I was only five months pregnant. So I had to live with it for like four months um, just excruciating pain. I couldn't go up and down stairs. I couldn't turn over in bed. I couldn't sit. I couldn't stand. I couldn't walk like everything. Like I can't explain to you the pain it was. Like it, if when doctors go like, what's your pain level tolerance? Like is it through one or 10 when they're asking you how much pain you're in? It was 11, like 
every day. There, it would get better and worse throughout the day. So like there were moments where it was like bearable and it'd be like a five, but like majority of the time that pain was like a 10 and I would just be sobbing. And that was the worst part of like shooting that Netflix special. Yes, I was fainting a lot. And I like a week prior to shooting that special was escorted off an airplane because I was fainting and vomiting and was on the ground and there were doctors and EMTs everywhere. Like I was a hot mess. I'd lose my vision, I'd lose my hearing. Like, and I'd be on the ground and I'd be like shaking and like moaning and like this happened almost every day. Like this, <laughs> it was a horrible, horrible time. So I kind of like looked at the special as like, oh my gosh, that was such a hard time. And like, I wasn't at my best because I was going through so much. And, um, and then it just took so long for us to edit and work on. And I, when I would go to the editing room, I was very pregnant. I was editing that special in the editing room at eight months pregnant. And then I had the baby and I was bringing the baby to the editing room and like feeding him constantly. And then going to the color and something like th there was just so much that went into it and it took so long. And it was like such a like negative time like when I shot it that I just kind of like, I don't know, maybe I like purposefully put it from my mind. My live show has always been something that I considered like for just the fans. Like it's something that like, it was a way for me to perform and do what I love most and do it for people who have supported me and like are the reason I have a job, the reason I have a house, the reason I have like a car like is you guys. And so it was a way for me to like do what I love most and perform and give back to you guys and have you guys meet each other and become friends and for me to meet you and hug you and, and perform for you. And like, so it's, it's like a very personal experience, my live show and it's, it's it's like a personal thing for me and for you guys. And so the thought of it like going on Netflix for everyone to see and everyone to judge and everyone to say positive or negative things about really, really scared me. The night before it came out, I was up all night ripping my fingers to shreds because I rip the skin off and like bite the skin off my fingers when I'm nervous. I love. And he gets mad at me when I do that. Like literally, this is gross. Trigger warning, if you like gross things, don't look. Um, I guess you won't be able to see anyway because it's not gonna focus, but I want to see there's like sores <laughs> basically all over my fingers. It's way better because like the special's out so I'm not chewing on my fingers as much, but that's how all my fingers look. They're like raw and they bleed and like I don't have fingerprints anymore. <laughs> it's really gross. But I was so nervous because I was like this thing that I love. Good boy. Yeah. This thing that I love and cherish so much and is so personal to me and has been a huge part of my life for literally 10 years I've been touring as Miranda. I was exposing to the world to judge and make fun of or hate and like I guess it was like it it was so much more personal to me than I thought. And like the thought of anyone saying anything negative about it really freaked me out. I was really scared. And I was like, I don't want anyone to see it. I don't like, I only want my fans to see it. Like I don't want anyone else to see it cause it's only for my fans. Like only my fans will get it. Only my fans will like it. And like no one, I don't want anyone else to see it. Like I just freaked out and was like spazzing. But then it came out and I was like scared to look at the internet. I was scared and I did see a few people be like, this is crap, like, and they hated it. For the most part, everyone's been really positive and really supportive. The most supportive of them all, other than of course, Eric and like Corey and my family has been like, I'm shocked at the promotion and support I've gotten from Netflix. Like, obviously I love working with Netflix. I did my Netflix show with them, Haters Back Off, and that was a dream come true. And then they let me do the special, which is amazing. I think Netflix is an incredible company. And I'm not just saying that because I've worked with them. Like they literally canceled my show. You'd think I wouldn't feel that way, but I love them. I only have positive, positive wonderful things to say about that platform. Um, and they have like gone above and beyond promote to promote this thing. I didn't expect anything from them. I didn't expect them to promote it. <laughs> yeah? Tell me about it. He's not crying, he's just talking, but I don't want him to be fussy. Hello. Yeah, come here, Bubba. Yeah, hello. Look at his blue eyes. You're so uh, cute. Uh see that Netflix was so supportive of it and no one told me they were gonna make a billboard no one said anything. the only thing I heard was like marketing plan marketing strategy here Colleen here's some things you can post on social media and it was like pictures and stuff and I was like awesome and I was so excited that they like made artwork for me like I thought that was like so nice of Netflix I was like oh they made like gifs and like they made like beautiful art like different thumbnails for the show like how cool like i thought that was like above and beyond so then when mondo was like your face is literally on hollywood and la brea which by the way a lot of you don't live here there's the heart of hollywood like where all the stars are like right 
two blocks away from like where the handprints are of like all the celebrities. Like it is the heart of Hollywood, like biggest intersection essentially like down in Hollywood. It's huge. And I was, I thought it was photoshopped. We went and as you just saw, we went and saw it in person. I was blown away. And then I posted a picture of it and Corey showed me someone commented like, oh yeah, you were in Times Square too. And there is a huge, sign of my face in Times Square right now. Like, what the heck is going on? So I'm just really excited and it's been a crazy 24 hours. Anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's so supportive and I wanted to say I'm like blown away by like everything. Like I, I will never, I don't think I'll ever like see anything exciting happen in my career and be like, well yeah, I deserve that. Like every time something happens, I'm like, why do they know that this is just me? Like why did they do a billboard for me? That's so weird. Like. Why did they give me a Netflix show? That's so weird. Like why why did someone give let me write a book? That's so weird. Like do they know it's just me? Like so to see my face on a billboard was like mind blowing. And it happened once before with haters back off. I they I got a billboard. But I knew it was gonna happen, so it was very exciting and like I cried when I saw it, but like I knew it was gonna happen. So this was like totally unexpected and like three times the size and it was my full face and not just my lips and it's also in New York City in Manhattan on 43rd and Broadway like literally the middle of Times Square My huge face like I want to j jump on a plane right now and fly to New York City and see it in person um, So if you're in New York City, please take a picture of it and send it to me <laughs> um, Yeah, anyway uh, More exciting stuff coming. I have a big announcement tomorrow. Wait Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, Friday. I don't know, whenever Friday is when you're watching this. Friday, I have a big announcement at 10 a.m. on my main channel. Um, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, it's like things keep happening. Like Eric always is like, what are we celebrating for you today, Colleen? Like every day there's something to celebrate because uh, wonderful things just keep happening. I feel really, really lucky. I'm like, when is this, what's the catch? Like what's going on? Why are all these like great things happening? But I guess when it rains, it pours. So like. You know, it'll be chill for a little bit and then it'll be crazy for a couple weeks. Then it'll be chill for a little bit and it'll be crazy for a couple weeks. So I'm in the thick of it right now with the special and with my tour and with this new thing I'm announcing and trying to keep up YouTube videos and other things I'm working on. It's craziness. But I love you guys. Thanks for always supporting me and thanks for watching the Netflix special and thanks for your positive reviews because there are negative Nancys out there. But, um, that I mean, Miranda's weird. So obviously not everyone's going to like it because it's the weirdest thing in the world. So, uh, when people are, making negative reviews and thumbs downing and saying mean things like there's so many more of you guys who are just being kind and giving it thumbs up and hearts and whatever on netflix and in comments and whatnot so i really appreciate it and i'm gonna go hang out with my baby and edit this okay love you guys bye